Okay. Well, hello, everybody. Let me start. I'm starting this one off already. I have to take out a little tab there. I wanna. I had went ahead and did. So everything will work out. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, but yeah. This morning. This morning. This morning. I have. You know, I just have to go ahead and just bring this up. This has brought my attention a while back. I knew about this too, but it's not something that I thought was a big deal. Oh, the connection that my little town, well, not mine, I don't own it, I just own a little piece of it. My little town has with World War II and the Navy. Okay, there's a group of buildings that I get some questions about off and on that I call, well, I know them as partially of the old, uh, their, the ironworks, but, but part of that building was old Westinghouse. Okay, before I get too far into this, this is actually what I know of as being factual. Um, I'll leave, actually there's a documentary on YouTube, actually it's not, it's not, it's not created by YouTube, it's actually somebody recorded it on YouTube from, from another channel, I think it's Discovery, well, that mentions this, so, this thing all made up, and also there's an article I'll be putting on the description also, kitty 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 kitty, okay, get on down the road. The connection is during World War II, they were um, they were looking for torpedoes that would actually hit the mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, most of them were not hit the mark. Actually, very few of them hit the mark. But yeah, they were inefficient. They were just awful. And uh, during this time, Westinghouse was working with the working and came up with the Mark 18 torpedo. <clears throat> and this torpedo was actually was actually developed and made right down in Westinghouse here in Sharon. This is factual. Okay. Unless you've followed up closely with the uh, local news around here. This is a little bit just is actually a little little known. Um, what they did is they many many miles north of us is, uh, is our, our reservoir of Pomatuni. That's where they normally would have test fired them. Okay, that little uh, that little uh, park that does not allow motorcycles in. Yeah, yeah, that's have that's coming up. There's a lake in the in that little not really like I call it a, just a large pond. It really is just a large pond. It is in the middle. It's in that. It's in that park. Well, one time, one night, they, uh, the workers were, well, they were running, I guess, a little behind schedule. They're tight, ske tight scheduling and stuff. They didn't have time to, to test fire a t test torpedo. And this, these torpedoes don't have no warheads. They don't arm or anything. They just, you know, the working body. Oh, Mark 18. Again, okay, yeah, we'll go back to that a little bit. Well, I'll come back to that after I get the story up. Anyway... <laughs> They snuck into that park and shot one across the lake. Yeah. And I'll, I'll leave a little, this is part of it right in here, coming up. From the Gold Westinghouse. Um, don't throw that there. Anyway, uh, the Mark 18, what's the big about the Mark 18? Well, the Mark 18 was the first electric Propulsion torpedo. Okay. 
that's what's big with the Mark 18. But yeah. I'll go further on down. This this section right here to the left. A lot of it, it was Westinghouse. Westinghouse. We'll take the long way around. Take the long way around. But yeah, it, I find it kind of comical. But, but it is in a way, but in, in a way not. It is a connection though to the U.S. Navy to an inland city of Sharon, Pennsylvania. And yeah, I kind of see it as somewhat bragging rights for Sharon. It really is. But yet the buildings are technically, st they're still standing, too, from World War II. We figure a lot of these buildings were through here, a lot of the building was was pre-existing World War II. So they're out there. They're still working. They're still create still have jobs for people. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool with a laundry box. But yeah, I figured God go ahead and throw that little up for my Tuesday ride. And the sun will be reappearing here in a few hours. Yeah, it's 433 in the morning. That's what we're that's what we've named it before the sun comes up in the morning. Uh-huh. I know that the sun's high, it's highest in the sky. We're, just, we're naming that new, noon. <laughs> and when the sun, when the, whenever it's the bright and well, towards the middle of the sun being come and gone, well, that's when we're calling that midnight. Yeah. Okay. This is Mother Mike. Hoping you all have a great day. Signing out.